and welcome to Math Made Easy with Bunalam Tlou. In this lesson, we are doing trigonometry. We are going to learn how to find ratios using triangle. We are going to use trigonometric ratios to find the angle measure in a right triangle. Okay. So the words that we need to know by the end of the lesson is trigonometry, trigonometric ratio, sine, cosine, tangent. And then the inverse of sine, inverse cos, and inverse tangent. The way to remember this is to know so ka to a. If you know so ka to a, then you'll be able to solve a lot of problems involving triangles in trigonometry. So in so ka to a, when I have a right angle triangle, okay, and I put my angle here, okay, this is the opposite. So this is O, the hypotenuse, like we learned before, it's the opposite of your 90 degree. So this is your hypotenuse and your adjacent is next to the angle, okay? Just next to the angle, adjacent. So, this is opposite, hypotenuse, adjacent. The S here is for sine. The C here is for cosine. I'll just write cos. And the T here is for 10. So, if you know, so, ka, to a, then you are good to solve a lot of problems. Okay, this is how it formally looks. So if you're looking for sine here, you will use opposite over hypotenuse, which is your O over H. So if I'm at angle A, this is my O and this is my H. That's why it's A over C, okay? And then if I'm at A, this is my adjacent, it's B and cos and um, hypotenuse. And then my 10, it's opposite over adjacent. So if you know this, then you are good to go. And what is it again? So, ka, to, a. You know this, then you're good to solve a lot of problems. Now let's look at this. Express the ratio as a fraction and as a decimal to the nearest hundred. So we will just um, express them as fractions, okay? Now, they said sine P. So we stand at P and we know so, ka, to a. So if you know this, you will go to your P and say O over H, your tan is O over A, opposite over adjacent. Your cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. Let's go. Um, cos again, adjacent over hypotenuse. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. And then this one is uh, opposite over adjacent. So now let's start with P. When I'm at P, I'll start with P. This is my O, this is my H, and this is my A. So let's come and fill this in. What is my O? 15 divided by 17. O over A, 15 divided by um, 8. Okay, again P. 8 divided by 17. Now let's come to Q. Now when I'm standing at Q, it will change. When I'm standing at Q, when I'm standing at Q, this will be my O. And this will be my A, and this will still stay H. So now, I will come to Q and say, what is the O? It's 8 divided by 
17. Can you see that? And then um, my O here, it's 8. My A is 15. And then here, 15 over 17. Okay? So I hope you understand. So it depends on the angle. If you are here, the opposite is here. If you are here, the opposite is there. Right? Cool. Now, pause the video and try this example. They want sine j and cos j, tan j. Sine k, cos k, tan k. Now, pause it and come back to check if you all have the same answer as me. Now, what is my O? My O is 5 over 13. Here, 12 over 13. Here, um, oh, this is O over A. Excuse me. O over A, opposite, tall up. So this will be my O is 5 and my A is 12. Now let's go. We change the sign. We come to K. This becomes O. This becomes A. All right. Now we have 12 over 13. And we have 5 over 13. And we have um, 5, 12 over 5. All right. I hope this is easy for you and you understand. Now, let's look at this one. Remember, we did our special triangle. So they say you use a special triangle to express tangent 30 as a fraction, okay? And as a decimal. So let's go. They said tangent 30. So tan 30, 10, 30. 10 is what? Ta, a. It's opposite over what? Over adjacent. Okay. So it will be x divided by x root 3. Our answer will be x will cancel x will be 1 over root 3. And then we'll rationalize this by multiplying with root 3 over 3. When we rationalize, we multiply both sides root 3 over 3 and we get it will be root 3 divided by 3 this is our final answer okay very okay easy. now pause the video and try this example in this example they said use uh the special triangle right angle for cosine 45 so it is like this okay so we have excuse my drawing 90 we have 45 here and we have 45 here. So here it's x and here it's x and here it's x root 2. Now they said express 45 so you can stand either side. Let's stand the side and look at it. So it will be opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse gives a sign. So sign 45 is equal to x divided by x root 2. This will be 1 over root 2. This will be root 2 over 2. Cool. Now, um, here is a real-life problem that you can try to apply. 
Okay, they gave you an angle. They said a certain part of the hiking trail slope upwards at about five degrees. So this is five degrees. After traveling 100 meters, so you can see that this is 100 meters and this is the A relative to this angle. What would the hiker vertical distance be? Okay, so we are looking for X and Y. Let's start with uh, X. So X will be what? Our opposite. So we can use 10. 5 is equal to my opposite is X. My adjacent is 100. Okay, so we'll multiply both sides by 100. X will be given by 100. 10, 5, okay? So my x will be equal to 100, 10, 5 gives us 8.7 meters. So this is 8.7. Now, if we're looking for the h, we need to change our So ratio. when we're looking for y, we will say our angle here is 5. And this will give us the adjacent, and this is the hypotenuse. So this is this will be car. So it's cos five is equal to what is my adjacent? It's one hundred, and what is my hypotenuse? It's y. So I'll multiply both sides by y. I will have y cos five is equal to one hundred. Now I will divide both sides by cos five y will be equal to 100 divided by cos 5. Okay, now let's get the answer from the calculator of your 100 cos 5. This will give us 100. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Remember to subscribe and press the bell up there so that you know when the video the next video is up thank you so much see you next time and bye